What's going on? It's Crypto Kong. I'm going to be talking about whether or not the Bitcoin bottom is in. It's going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to go over one analysis that kind of shows we're bullish, as well as I not none of this is financial advice. I'm not saying FOMO into these markets. It's really hard to say whether now is a good time to buy because eventually we'll have a confirmation whether we're in a bull market or we're in a bear market. And once that confirmation comes, you're still going to see X's. But that's not to say we won't just dump tomorrow completely below the uh, the daily moving average here. So we're going to quickly go over this chart. And uh, keep in mind, this chart isn't the most charts aren't the most accurate thing in the entire world, but they point you in a direction. So this is the 200 day moving average. As you can see, we uh, were trading below everything and we just pumped up just God candles on the daily time frame. And so far we've closed one and on to closing our second candle in the next 16 hours. So what we'd want to see is at least two. So this candle that's going to print in the next 16 hours, the next candle after that, and that will give us some sort of confirmation that we could be in a bull market. Now, if you want to look at this chart previously, we can see that whenever you're above the uh, 200 DMA, you're going to be bullish. We could see it down here. This would have been your 2017 bull market. You crossed below it and you were trading downwards the entire time. And then as soon as you broke above it, which is what could be happening right now, and you close a few candles, you are essentially in a bull market. Now, you can see here the bottom was in at around 3150 as well as you got another opportunity to buy a dip at 3300 And you saw your 13K. Everyone thought that it was going up from here. So this is why I'm saying we could still see retracements but the retracements might only wick down to 3,800, right? So you might not get the uh, exact bottom that you were hoping for. You might only get maybe 10, 15% above that. And this is a wick on the daily. So that means that for not even an entire day, you were able to buy it at this price. It came down, wicked, immediately back up. It closed at about $4,700. So as you can see from there, we uh we crossed over with our uh all of our emas or dmas and we were trading above and this would have been your 2021 bull market now you saw as you come over as you come and you cross down over the 200 dma you're going to be bearish and you cross back above it you're going to be a bit bullish now that's not to say that you obviously won't have retracements but this right here is a sign of reversal in the markets so this is not financial advice i'm not telling anyone to fomo in but what i am saying in the next two days if we don't close a big giant red candle below maybe nineteen thousand, uh we could be entering a bull market not to say that there won't be retracements but that could potentially mean that the bottom was in at 15.4 which would be not what everyone expected but we always see these uh, these pumps and then dumps. So right now we're in a weird spot where the market could go in any direction. We're having bullish indicators as well as there's other bearish indicators. Um, but even from the beginning here, you can see that as soon as we cross and we trade above here, you are bullish. And as soon as you start trading below it, you are bearish. And as soon as you start trading above it, you are bullish. And as soon as you start trading below it, you're bearish. And then a little bit of a bull rally here, a little retracement, which is normal. You had a opportunity to pick up the bottom. And now we're at where we're at now. So we had lots of buying opportunities over here at 19,000. Even now isn't a horrible buying opportunity. But what I'm saying is if you buy now, there is still a chance that we dump lower to 11,000. But if we close a few candles above here and we get to maybe 23K in a few days, you could see a bear market invalidated. So that's all for me. I hope this helps you with your analysis. 
Again, none of this is financial advice. Take everything I said at your own risk. But this is one indicator showing we might be in a bull market and we possibly have bottomed.